Happy Friday guys and welcome back to the channel. So I'm holding a piece of paper because we've done so much work to this VW T6. We've only had it in for a few days this week uh, we've, for work wise because we've been so busy but we've managed to stay late on a couple of evenings and get everything done. So I'm going to quickly run through the list of what we've done on this van uh, and then during the video it'll pop up above so that you can see it so that we don't have a an hour long video to bore you to death. So Alpine Halo 11, that's the ILX F115D. It's not as popular as the nine inch Halo, not because of price, just because people think that the screen is gonna be bigger than what they need, but actually when they see it, they go, wow, this is amazing. So the Halo 11 is obviously one of the newer models, no navigation, but it's got all the mod cons, including the HD display, dual wireless, um, dual USB, dual camera, wireless Apple CarPlay, um, wired Android Auto, Class D amplifier. We have also teamed that up with the Alpine uh, DVR C320S. It's a front and rear Alpine camera. Customers had to source it themselves because Alpine have suddenly discontinued it. We don't know why it was a popular product, but they've discontinued it. But it also links to the head unit. We have fitted uh, a new breed of reversing camera. We've had a few problems with the last um, supplier, so we've now gone for a better quality IP rated little mini wedge camera because it's not just about functionality, it's about aesthetics as well. This one is still mini, it's a little wedge camera and it's just hopefully gonna be absolutely perfect and reliable. We've gone stage one sound deadening on the front doors. No doubt this customer will be back for stage two and three. But the reason why we've done stage one is because it's a forced option with any of our Alpine or Audison speaker upgrades. And in this van, we've gone for the SPC 106 T6, which are the six inch component speakers with the tweeters hidden behind the A pillars. But I'll talk to you about that in a second. Um, we've also gone for an Alpine PWE S8, eight inch active subwoofer. And the reason why we haven't gone for our normal under seat one is because there's no room. Uh, there's a hell of a lot going on in this camper conversion. So Rich's done a cracking install on the back of the unit behind the seat. And that has also then been mounted on little grommets, little rubber um, mounts so that it doesn't then vibrate through the panel because it's quite a powerful subwoofer. We've gone with um, genuine front fog lights that do the whole coming on when cornering but we've taken away the yellow halogen uh, lamps and put in some LED, aftermarket LED ones, so that it looks a little bit more in keeping with the rest of the van rather than looking a bit old fashioned. Uh, we've also done an Alcantara flat bottom sports T6 wheel, DSG paddles, multifunction, all lights up, does all the things you want it to do, including the trip computer. We've done our big speedo activation, which is always done free when vehicles are down here. And one thing that we haven't been able to do, oh, I nearly forgot one thing, is the blue ambient door lighting. So two footwell lights either side, um, or one either side, passenger and driver, and then also two little blue spotlights in the door pockets. Looks amazing, we do so many of these. It's a VW product um, that we make slightly better by just making it more reliable. Um, but it's a great bit of kit. Um, this customer also was booked in for the rear R-Type coaxial speakers. Um, it's a new design from Alpine with a really nice sort of white cone on it. Not tweeters, just coaxials and they're going to be going in the rear bedroom area but we only had the van for two days in effect so it's coming back in for us to um, connect those in above the bed area above your head so it'll then project the sound down. So what we do is we'll start off quickly um, very briefly at the back then at the front do the fog light show the blue ambient lighting and a quick run through of the camera and the Alpine um, and show it all working.
Uh, right, nice looking van. Um, got some black styling bits on there, so it's quite striking with the red and the black and the bumper. So fitting the reversing camera. Well, obviously they, they do do other colours, but we've gone for our new mini wedge black camera. It's a gloss black on this one, really small footprint, IP rated, and then gets routed all the way down through the front from the grommet into the back of the Alpine halo and looks really, really clean. Looks really, really clean because of the fact we've got a 720p HD screen. Now, if you are trying to connect any other type of camera in with a screen that's not HD, you're gonna get, you're gonna be let down. It's not the camera's fault, it's the screen's fault. Um, so this, it actually looks really good and especially on a, an 11 inch screen because we always say to people, look, if you're trying to get a reversing camera on anything bigger than a seven inch screen, it's gonna get pixelated. On the older models of Alpine, that was a low res screen, cameras weren't that good, but this looks pretty good. So that's the camera. Okay, T6 Sportline bumper with the splitter. Looks really good. Uh, for us to fit the um, genuine fog lights, we just punch out the splitter hole, take the bumper off, obviously, take out the um, little black guard, fit the new T6 genuine Volkswagen panels, the new T6 fog lights, and then change the lamps over or the bulbs over to um, the LED ones. Now, Richard's just gonna turn them on. So there they are, looks good, looks in keeping with the vehicle. Um, because it's a rattly diesel, we haven't got the engine running, even though we normally have music during our um, videos anyway. Um, it's just easy to say, look, here they are. Fog lights are on, new switch on the dashboard with a chrome design on there as well, because that's the newer model. And when this vehicle is going around corners, uh, the respective light is gonna come on um, just to aid you. You've probably seen vehicles coming towards you, transporters, and wonder why they've got one fog light coming on. Well, that's because it's cornering um, with the fog light feature. So that's it. We didn't fit the headlights. The van will be back for the front optical parking system upgrade, uh, but that's for stage two. So now we're gonna jump in the van and show you the rest of the kit. Okay, right, this is the best bit. Um, we see so many T6s come through the door here at Advanced, um, and a lot of them all have varying spec. Um, you know, this has got quite good spec, considering we've got DSG, um, we've got quite a lot going on. We could then fit a Comfort Dash, 
And but one thing we did notice whilst we were doing all these mod cons, it hasn't even got AC, which is quite a popular thing now um, with a lot of the transporters that get snapped up by the conversion companies and then um, converted and sent on through. I don't know if you're you know, driving down through France or Spain, you're definitely gonna need your AC. Um, or on this, in this case, it's gonna be windows open. But either way, we have made this already lovely van even nicer. We've got flat bottom, R-line, sports wheel with the contours and the grips, Alcantara top and bottom, silver stitch, DSG paddles, illumination in red, not that we get much choice, but some of them are white. Red illumination to go with the red van. This vehicle's already got things like cruise control. We've done our big speedo on the dash. We've got our blue ambient lighting now, which we'll, Matt will show you. Um, that's in the door cards and in the footwell. So that will shine up at night. And blue is quite a cool color, even though red is the van color. Uh, we have done USB retention here for um, the Alpine, and that's for the Apple CarPlay or the charging lead, depending on which way the customer wants. In the glove box is the other flying lead. And then you've got this. You've got the Alpine Halo 11. Wireless Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto, dual USB, as I've said, uh, reversing camera, which you can do instant access from the direct button on the front here, or you can just simply select reverse gear and you've got your parking sensors up on the display as well so things like that are all retained once we've done the front parking sensors they will pop up um, no hdmi on this one no aux you've got direct tidal access you've got fm you've got your dab and you've got your bluetooth and you've got your bluetooth streaming um, you've got things like vehicle info so if you had climate this would come up on here you've got your parking sensors and there's a few settings in under the um, car menu that retain it from the older radio uh, also then we've done the alpine so this is the front camera uh, and the view that you can see, this is the rear camera. Now, it's, I don't know, I mean, it's a great bit of kit and I like the fact that you can view it on the Alpine and you can go through the settings and stuff like that. I find the resolution a little bit sad considering the fact that we're working with all these mod cons and that could be much much cleaner and fresher and crisper like it's on here but when you go into the dash cam here you can go in and you can do things like um set up let's just go back here let's touch the screen uh, in here sorry you've got the menu so yes it will stop recording now whoever created this on-screen display here could have used slightly better graphics, cleaner, crisper, but we see this quite a lot uh, with no names mentioned with other companies. And you can go in here and you can see your file lists and your recordings. You can change your camera setup and how it, um, you know, for instance, if you want to go in and you want to turn speed cameras on or off or your lane departure warning and stuff like that. Anyway, there's no point in giving you too much information because Alpine have discontinued it. We have supplied and fitted lots and lots of these, but it's nice because it connects in through here. Um, subwoofer Matt will show on the video anyway and how that was fitted. Stage one sound deadening and the SPC 106s. The reason why we recommend to go for the six inch components and not the eights if you're having a sub is because it becomes a bit too woolly um, and it's just too much bass. Uh, some people say you can never get too much bass. Well, you can if it's not clean, punchy bass, and that's what happens in here. Even though you've got a really nice Class D internal amplifier, um, six inch components with the subwoofer is absolutely awesome. Now, we're advanced in car. We only do an amazing job. That's why you follow us. You've read our reviews, hopefully. If you've got a vehicle like this, then get in touch, come down and see us. The website is www.advanced incar.co.uk thanks for watching have a good weekend don't forget to like subscribe tell your friends and family and if you want us to do a video we say this all the time but if you want us to do a video on something sp 
in particular and we can do it and it's viable, then we will do. But another T6 customer leaves here a happy chappy. So thanks for watching.